Hey, welcome to Mooney Reads. My name is Beck, and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Bias Breaker Readathon. Bias Breaker Readathon runs from the 4th to the 20th of December. It has like a space adventure sort of theme with the prompts, but the whole point of it is to read books from a variety of different authors that's a little bit different than what you would normally read. For this readathon, they do have different teams. And I will be doing the prompts for Team Renegade Researcher. Um, the prompts for all of the groups I thought were pretty cool, uh, but the Renegade Researcher is just sort of called to me, especially as like a sociologist. I just thought that it was appropriate that I join the researchers. So um, we've got a few prompts here. There aren't too many, which is honestly really nice. Um, other than this, I think the majority of December I'm just going to be catching up on whatever books that I'm in the middle of reading. Although, if you see another TBR come up, you'll know that I changed my mind. It, it happens. There are six prompts for each of the teams, although one of the prompts is not a reading prompt. So, to start off with, there is the group book. Um, I'm not going to be reading the group book because I don't have it, and I don't know about the content of some of it for myself personally. Um, so I'm skipping out on it, but there is an alternative. If you can't or don't want to read the group book, you can also make a TBR. So this is me fulfilling the first prompt for the Bias Breaker Readathon. The next prompt is to read a book with bi, pan, ace, or arrow representation in it. And for that, I'm going to be finishing An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I read the first chapter in October, I think. Um, there was no real reason that I stopped. I liked it. I just was also in the middle of like 500 other books. So this is one that I intend to focus on early this month. The next prompt is to read a translated book. And for this, I'm going to be picking up some manga. I'm going to be reading volumes two and three of The Girl from the Other Side. I read volume one in July or August. I don't know what time is. I read it and I really, really loved it. It's got this really dark atmosphere, but the characters are so incredibly wholesome. I fell in love with the first volume, so I'm really looking forward to reading the others. The next prompt is a mystery prompt. So I won't know what I'm doing for that until it happens. Um, but you'll probably find out whenever I post my wrap up. And the final actual book prompt that they have is to break your bias. So the idea is to read the opposite of what you usually read. And this is a little bit hard just because I don't know, like, what is the opposite of what I usually read? Because I read lots of fiction, lots of nonfiction. I read from different genres sometimes. So I have two potential books for this. One of them is a book that I need to finish reading, and that is Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. I don't really tend to read detective stories, and starting to read this, I kind of figured out why. Granted, I did read Abbott earlier, and that's kind of a journalist detective -y book. That was actually good. But this is very slow and um, kind of speaks to, I think, why I don't read certain types of thrillers a whole lot. I also don't really read a whole lot of horror, so this is definitely outside of my comfort zone. But the other thing that I thought of when they said, you know, read the opposite of what you usually read, the thing that I read more than anything else is gay books, LGBT books. So I also have let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, because this is heterosexual, fluffy romance. Um, at least I think it's all heterosexual. If I'm wrong, it'll be a nice surprise, but I think most of this is straight. To be fair, I've read a lot of straight romances, or things with straight romance in them in my time. Um, just because that's the way media is, so everybody has. But this year, as of July, about 70% of what I've read was LGBT, and I 
feel like that's probably still about accurate at this point in the year too. So I think this would be breaking my bias to a certain extent. Um, not as much as I think a genre romance would be, but this seems easier than the genre romance. I will say this might be cheating a little bit because I have read a decent amount of John Green and actually liked it. Um, I know a lot of people find his writing style to be pretentious, but I enjoy it. So there's that. Um, so one or both of these will be breaking one of my biases. Then the final prompt is to engage with the live show. I'm not sure off the top of my head when the live show is, depending on my work schedule, is really going to depend on whether or not I can engage with it. But these are the books that I intend to read during the Bias Breaker Readathon. If you're going to be joining in, let me know what team you're on or a book that you're excited to read. And if you're not, let me know what you are going to be doing in the month of December. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.